We're speaking to Vicky Clark about her experience of studying occupational therapy at the University of Pretoria, which is affectionately known as Tux, am I right, yes. Vicky? Um, can you tell us what made you decide to apply to and decide to study at Tux? Um, originally, um, it was because it was to be close to my family. Mm -hmm. They're based in Joburg. I'd been um, to high school here in Natal, so it was nice to be back with my family. In saying that, I didn't want to live in the same house and have to go back to rules. Um, so I chose the semi-independent balance between the two, of being able to be at varsity during the week and then home during the weekend if I chose. Um, and that, that motivated my decision hugely. Um, besides from that, um, Tux has a very good reputation, um, particularly regarding um, medical fields of study. Um, so that was a huge motivating factor. Um, also nicely located, not right in the centre of town, um, ideal for networking um, mm. potential um, and yeah besides from that it was about hearing about the reputation that motivated me a lot I have a family member that is an occupational therapist and she studied there um, so yeah it, it sort of felt like my decision was made for me for it was just a natural progression mm. and when we were chatting earlier you mentioned um, conducting some informational interviews would you be able to elaborate a bit on that yeah I think I can't emphasize the importance of, of how that really opened my eyes as to what exactly occupational therapy is. Um, it was in my grade 11 year and we had to um, shadow three or four professionals and it really helped me to be able to see what exactly the day-to-day -day, you know workings of these professionals is like um, and it sort of it challenged me to take off the, the rose tinted glasses of Grey's Anatomy running around in white <laughs> jackets um, so yeah I, I went into um, uh, pediatrics, dietetics, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, basically just interviewed the professionals, um, found out what type of people need, should do this type of job, what universities they recommended, mm -hmm. and yeah, it was, it was hugely um, important for me to have done that, so it was, it was great to have the school support in that as well. And I think that that's a, that's a very important message to scholars, it's a very, very useful and simple tool, um, that of informational interviewing. And then Vicky, what were the best aspects about studying at, at Tux? I would say the university is very balanced in terms of um, academics and social life. They actively encourage you to, to get involved in organized events while obviously striking a balance. Um, the student support is fabulous. On an emotional level, financial level, there were always people there and willing to help and it was easily accessible. Um, besides from that, I think uh, a few of my friends from, from school were going there um, and it just, I don't know, it just seemed like the natural right choice. For you. Yeah. <laughs> and any difficult aspects? What things did you not enjoy? I think enjoy? it was particularly difficult as, a, as an English girl going to an Afrikaans university. I mean there's a lot of, the lectures were in English, um, but a lot of Afrikaans people, that took a bit of getting used to. I'd also just been on a gap year. Um, when you say so Afrikaans people, you mean in terms of the language? Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I'd just been on a gap year to the UK, so it was it was quite quite an adjustment. Mm -hmm. uh, besides from that, just the intensity of the course yeah. um, was also quite hectic. I can't really say, think of that as a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. um, but it, all in all, I would definitely recommend Tux to anybody. I had a, an amazing experience. And the reason campus life, Vicky? Anything to say about I that? I think it's very important to get in, get involved. Yeah. Um, having gone to boarding school myself, I sort of thought, oh, I don't want to go through all of that again, and a bit of initiation and a few games as a junior. I thought, I don't know if I can handle this. Um, but it just so they just do it in a good way, and the university has a lot of organised events that keeps you, as a first year, very integrated with your other first years. And I found that that was really cool because you're forced to meet meet people mm -hmm. and network, etc. Um, so that was really awesome. Um, it's really nice to be with all your friends, yeah. um, and it's different to boarding school because you can now go out and you can you can drive yourself, you've and you've freedom. got this new independence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was really really great, and a lot of group activities, and we'd go and serenade the other boys' reses, and they would we were doing dances or we were preparing that, <laughs> and it, th there was never a dull moment, mm -hmm. and it really is almost like a. a a family and I would also recommend anyone to attend res without a doubt I think you miss out on half your varsity experience mm. by being a day a day um, student it's great advice thank you so much Vicky it's a Thanks. pleasure thank you